Hello everybody, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com and today we're coming to you actually with a live video to talk about future cruise credit. Seems like everybody is talking about this, wants to know more information about Royal Caribbean's future cruise credit. So thank you for joining us here. And of course, don't forget if you're looking for more Royal Caribbean news information, fun and advice, be sure to check out RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. So what the heck is a future cruise credit? It's essentially a voucher for future travel. It's a monetary amount associated um, with uh, a value that you can use towards uh, a future cruise. It's oftentimes provided in lieu of a refund. Uh, and with obviously a lot of Royal Caribbean cruises being impacted by the uh, coronavirus global pandemic, um, there's Royal Caribbean has been giving cruisers the option of taking a future cruise credit instead of a full or even partial refund, depending on the situation. And the nice thing about future cruise credits is they're a little more flexible. They do provide you future travel. And in some cases, Royal Caribbean is actually giving you bonus money for taking advantage of it, which is really nice. So definitely something to keep in mind. Number two, of course, if you get a future cruise credit, what can you actually use it towards? Now, future cruise credit can be used towards the base fare of any future cruise. Now, what that means is that goes towards the actual cruise fare itself. If you were to look at a line item, you get your bill, your invoice from Royal Caribbean, there's a lot of different line items on there. But we're talking about the base cruise fare. So it cannot be used for the initial deposit, taxes, port fees, any gratuities, or even shore excursions. Um, it can be used, Royal Caribbean has relaxed its rules and you can use actually a future cruise credit towards any future sailing as well as existing sailings you may already have booked. Um, the only caveat to this, um, if you get your future cruise credit with the cruise from Cruising with Confidence program, which is that new program that Royal Caribbean instituted a couple weeks ago to allow people who have cruises coming up to be able to cancel their cruise a lot closer to their sail date and get a future cruise credit instead. Um, if you do elect that, take advantage of that option, you may not use your new future cruise credit towards the sailing you canceled already. So as an example, you can't say, okay, I'm, I want a future cruise credit for this sailing coming up here in June, take it, and then turn around and rebook that same sailing with your future cruise credit. That will not work. Now, if you're trying to figure out how is your future cruise credit calculated, there's definitely some interesting math over there. Um, basically, it's based on the total cruise fare paid at the guest level and it excludes taxes, fees, and prepaid gratuities. Why? Because those things are going to be refunded to you automatically. When you cancel a cruise and get a future cruise credit, Royal Caribbean will refund you outside of the future cruise credit for your taxes, port fees, and gratuities, and also any add-ons you purchase, dining packages, drink packages, Wi-Fi, etc. Now, if you're going to book another cruise, you might be saying, well, what happens if my future cruise credit exceeds the value of my next cruise that I have booked? It's a great question, of course. And if you have leftover credit, not to worry, Royal Caribbean will issue a new future cruise credit with that leftover amount, and it'll have the same expiration date as the previous voucher. So you're not going to lose it. It's, it's, it's still there for you to be able to use for even another sailing. Now, if you're wondering how do you actually get this credit, the future cruise credit, how do you actually get it in your hands, it's usually emailed to you. Um, once it becomes available, um, Royal Caribbean usually emails it. It may take a little bit of a while, especially right now. If you're watching this video here here in uh, early to mid-2020, uh, they're very backlogged, but they will be coming out there, and it usually takes a couple of weeks to get there. Now, in terms of the, something else you should really know about future cruise credits, they will expire. Um, it, as it pertains to the Cruising with Confidence future cruise credits, those expire um, on or before December 31st, 2021. That means you have to actually go on a cruise before then. It doesn't mean you can redeem it on December 30th, 2021 for a cruise in 2022, that will not work. You need to actually take the cruise in before December 31st, 2021. So make sure you take advantage of that before it expires. And yes, you can use your future cruise credit uh, with a travel agent. So it's it's your credit. You can use it however you see fit and you can use it towards uh, with, with any travel agency uh, that you want. Um, and, and to that point though, here's where people getting to get, get a little confused as well. Um, when it comes to future cruise credits, you can only use it, they're in your name. So it can only be applied to the passenger that we're talking about here. So if you get a future cruise credit for you, your wife, your kids, um, and you, you cannot use your kids' future cruise credit towards your cruise fare. So um, when you get them, they're in each person's name and that value can only be associated with that same person going on another cruise. And a lot of other people are wondering, well, what happens if I paid for somebody else's cruise, right? Um, I, I, you know, we booked a cruise, it's my family and my mother-in-law. I love my mother-in-law, but I paid for it. Do I get the money back? And the answer is no, actually. The future cruise credit goes towards, again, 
into their name right there. So, um, yeah, it's those are the basics of it, of course. Um, and we're gonna we are we are recording this video live here. And Justine Heitkamp says, as a travel agent, the future future cruise credit isn't as good as people think. It's better to cancel and rebook. Well, Justine, at the bottom line is the thing about the 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 intriguing aspect of the future cruise credit is in a lot of cases you're getting bonus money. Now, with cruising with confidence, you don't. But Justine, as you know, a lot of people book non-refundable cruise fares, right? And if they elect to cancel and um, they're beyond the final payment date, they'd be losing money by doing so. So at the very least, the future cruise credit protects the full value of their of their cruise investment, and they're not going to lose any money in the sense of um, you know canceling and penalties and fees and whatnot. Um, Bria says, uh, what if I had an onboard credit for my cruise that was canceled? Will I get that back too? No. In most cases, not, Bria. If you got an onboard credit, for booking, you know, during a wow sale or some other promotion, that's gone. There are some exceptions. Um, the most notable one is if you booked with Next Cruise. You're on a Royal Caribbean ship, you booked a cruise, you got free money for booking that cruise, and then you move on, you're usually covered in that situation to keep that going because that follows you. But that's a different that's more the outlier than the norm. Uh, Brian Florida says if we rebook a cruise in summer and Corona still is hundred percent gone, but cruises are still running, will Royal Caribbean offer refunds again? Um, Brian, Royal Caribbean will only offer refunds, like full refunds, outside of the final, inside of the final payment date, if uh, they cancel the cruise on you. If you say, if you say, well, you know what, Matt, it's July, cruises are going, but I don't really feel like going. No, that may not be an option for you. Now, Brian, to that point, we don't know the answer to this next point yet. Perhaps this cruising with confidence program that's offering guests the opportunity to get a future, a one hundred percent future cruise credit. Um, within 48 hours of their sale date, that may be extended. But right now, it's only for certain dates out there. So, um, Brian, it's a little bit difficult to answer your question exactly because there's a lot of variables that we don't know the answer to yet. Um, April, our cruise is under the cancel time frame, April 19th to 26th, but we have not received notification yet. Should we wait to call or wait to receive notification on what to do next? Um, I guess that's a really good question, April, and that really depends on how you booked. Number one, if you booked with a travel agent, I would contact them. I have received confirmation for one of my cruises being booked. I had a cruise in April. That one I definitely got my email for, but I still have my, I don't think I've gotten my email for my Alaska cruise in June yet. Um, they're dealing with a lot of stuff there, but I would at least uh, start with perhaps talking with your travel agent and see what they have to say about that. Hello, Alan. Welcome, Preston. Hello, Tony. Welcome, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining us here. We're talking future cruise credits today here on YouTube. I don't usually post a video, like a recorded video, um, but YouTube is doing so poorly. <laughs> like, YouTube is just not giving the video to anybody. So I figure we're going to hang out here. We're going to answer your cruise questions. It's a way better use of, of everybody's time, quite frankly. Plus, you're all in quarantine, right? Aren't we all stuck at home anyway? So this is a win-win. Uh, Jen, if I had a cruise in August, would you make final payment in May? You know, Jen, me? Yes, because I love cruising and I'm willing to roll the dice and I think that um, I would go for it. Yes. I think so. Look, if things carry forward, Jen, I, I c could expect, I could reasonably expect that the Cruising with Confidence program would, would be extended out there. I don't know that for a fact, and I can't promise you that's going to be the case. But at the end of the day, it really boils down to, Jen, all things being equal, do you want to go on a cruise? And in my opinion, the answer is yes. Uh, Don is here. Hello, Don. I have a cruise booked for December 21 already. Would my be able to take a refund for the Alaska cruise and I take a future cruise credit for my booked cruise? That's a good question, Don. Um, I am not 100% sure on that. I'd have to defer to the travel agents who may know better in terms of can you split it. My gut tells me, Don, that I'm hungry and also that I think the answer is yes, but I'm not 1,000% sure on that. Preston, what do you think the Alaska ships will do until July? Will they just not sail or make different itineraries to book? It's a good question, Preston. I don't know. My guess is they're not going to sail. I mean, it, to th just to make up a, a a quick season off the bat would be pretty difficult. Um, there's a lot of logistics involved. You can't just arbitrarily like, all right, you know what, guys, we're going to sail over here. I mean, you got to fill that ship. You've got to get clearance to go to certain ports. It's much easier said than done. Neb, if I get a 125% future cruise credit from a March 15th cruise and use it on a June cruise, and the June cruise is canceled, would we get 125 future cruise credit on top of the 125 future cruise credit from the first cruise? Boy, that's a good question. So um, I'm gonna Neb's basically asking: Cruise A is canceled, gets 125% future cruise credit, books another cruise, and for Neb's purposes here, I would assume Neb, if the entire value of cruise B 
is paid for by the Future Cruise credit, you will just get a new Future Cruise credit voucher for an extended date. I don't think you'll be able to double up. I could be wrong. I don't know that... I mean, I don't know that this scenario has been enacted. Like, no one's been able to do this yet because, of course, even people who got canceled in the first 30 days of suspended sailings have not gotten their Future Cruise credits yet. So I don't think that's right now a possibility, but I know you're talking about down the line. Um, I don't know. Basically, we don't know yet because that scenario has never cropped up there. Linda, cruise in November has to be paid off in late July. If it's canceled before paid off, will I get my deposit back? That depends, Linda, on your which deposit you chose. Did you book with? The, did you book a refundable cruise fare or a non-refundable? If you booked refundable, yes, you can get all your money back before final payment date by canceling. You're totally cool on that. If you book non-refundable, you can get your money back minus a $100 per person change fee. Chad, any speculation on the ships that were supposed to be in Alaska in June? Are they going to be repositioned? Yeah, we did. that's kind of what uh, Preston was asking, Chad, and I don't know the answer on that one. My, I would guess they're going to just stick around because, again, you can't... Cruise ships, there's so many logistics and where they can go. They got to... First, number one, they got to be able to sell rooms, right? And you cannot fill a cruise ship in a matter of weeks in terms... Unless you just basically give away the rooms right there. In which case, it's probably cheaper for Royal Caribbean just to have the ship stay put and do nothing. Again, I'm speculating. And that's what Chad was asking me there. Um, but, yeah. Robert Vetter, can we use cruise credits towards down payment on the next cruise? You cannot. You cannot use future cruise credits towards the down payment, gratuities, port fees, taxes, or shore excursions. Now, there is a little trick. Um, who asked me that? Robert. There's a little trick I want to tell you. So, you put the deposit down. You pay cash. Okay. Then you apply the future cruise credit. If you have left over future cruise credit, Robert... You can then have the deposit brought back. You can have the deposit refunded back to you. Again, your travel agent can help you with that. That's a little trick that my good friends at MEI Travel taught me, uh, which is wonderful. But again, you have to have enough credit, and it requires you still to lay out the money in the first place. Um, Keisha, I have a cruise in September for the Mediterranean, and I don't think everything will be okay in Alaska. Oh, yeah, that was someone else. <laughs> I have a cruise in September for the Mediterranean. I don't think everything will be okay by then. Do I just wait for the cruise line to cancel, or should I just cancel? That's a good question, Keisha, um, because here's the bottom line. If you cancel right now, you can get your money back. You're on your own. You're good to go there. Um, if you wait, Royal may not cancel. They may say, look, September, we're going. And if you're not comfortable with that, well, then you're going to be subject to, to, um, to, to whatever policy is in place or not in place by that time. Um, it, it's, it's a tough answer, Keisha, because I can't answer it for you. I think it's really a question for you to answer for yourself. Um, if you're saying, Matt, I want to go and I'm willing to, you know, we're not, we're not an at risk, um, or higher risk, um, age group or, or, you know, we don't have underlying conditions. So I'm not terribly concerned about that. And, it, and if possible, I'd like to go on that sailing, then yeah, go ahead and book it. But if you have hesitations, if you're not sure canceling now before final payment date might not be a bad idea. I mean, here's the other flip side. Something that a lot of people pointed out is that let's say you, you cancel and, uh, a month or two from now things get better. And you're like, you know, what? I really want to go on that cruise. I got a feeling there's going to be some pretty decent value still out there if you want to book a last-minute cruise. I don't know about airfare, but um, the way things are going right now, Keisha, I have a feeling like you're not going to be too hard-pressed for that. We have our first Super Chat of the day. It is from Jet Neal. Thank you, Jet Neal. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I uh, just had my Oasis of the Seas for May 3rd canceled. I had 25 rooms booked and 70 people going. Very disappointed. Jet Neal, I'm so sorry to hear that. I have, I'm in a similar situation. We were supposed to go with a bunch of friends on Ovation of the Seas to Alaska in June. We had a lot of friends there. It was an unofficial Royal Caribbean blog group cruise. And uh, yeah, we also got notice of that, Jet Neil. So there's a lot of that going around. I mean, I certainly understand where it's going there. But yeah, it stinks. Uh, Stephen Ames, will my cruise be canceled in October? It's way too early to tell. And Stephen, nobody here, including myself, can tell you definitively one way or another. We can simply guess at what the answer could be. Uh, hello, Gracie. Welcome. Uh, Natalie Brown, we have a cruise planned for August 2020. Should we just hold still and wait to see what happens? I think so. I think it's probably the best, most prudent thing to do. Uh, let's see here. Victoria's got a question about Norwegian Cruise Line. I have We only cover Royal Caribbean, uh, Victoria. So unfortunately, I, I don't know what to answer, how to answer that question. Uh, Ron wants to know, how long is it taking to get refunded for the excursions booked through the cruise planner? It's been three weeks from the date we canceled our cruise. I know that... Um, Ron, when you, which, I, well, I'm trying to think now, Ron, you're talking about the previous, not the ones that just happened like yesterday, two days ago. You're talking about the, the, 
the stuff back in the, the initial 30 day cancellation. I check your bank account, dude, because I think I just got mine coming through this week. Um, on some of those, I had some, some like, uh, things I had canceled for those initial cruises, the ones in March and April. Um, I had, um, I, I believe I just checked my bank account the other day. I was like, oh, wow, okay. I saw my credit card and, and those came back. So they are processing a lot of refunds right now and and, and requests. So check on that. Uh, Diane Mattis, if I take a 125% onboard credit for Cruise Planner and the new cruise supply due is canceled, is it transferable to another cruise? I got to think so, Diane. I mean, they're not they're not going to, just like future cruise credits, I think there's, I would be shocked, literally shocked, Diane, if, they, if that wasn't the case. Uh, Christopher Manley would like to book in July, in your opinion, early or late. I would say in, the, in this current state, the later you book, the more reasonable the situation likely will be. Again, I don't know anything. I'm not a me medical expert, but I think it's a safe bet. Uh, Dave Kazarian, is cruise credit can be applied to new taxes and port fees? No, it cannot. Good morning, Hunt Lewis. Welcome. Gracie, so if I was going on April 12th of 2020, it's rescheduled when the cruises start going back again. Do you think cruises will be back in July? I think so. I mean, I don't know anything, Gracie. Nobody really knows the answer to that question. I would hope so. But really and truly, nobody knows the answer to that question. Uh, Tariq, is Symphony of the Sea still coming to Jamaica? I mean, they still have itineraries scheduled. But, I mean, beyond that, dude, right now there's no sailings going anywhere. But when they resume, we hope to see um, things uh, improving there. Uh, Bob, is suspended the same as canceled? Yeah, suspended, Bob, is the uh, nice way of saying they canceled a bunch of cruises. But there's a difference. Not to say that they said, okay, we're not doing these cruises. It's that we're, we're suspending operations. Thus, cruises are canceled. Does that make sense? It's more semantics, really. Uh, McDianer, my cruise is not until December 13th. Looking forward to my sailing. What do you think of the chances of sailing then? Guys, there's no way anybody knows. Nobody, and I mean nobody, knows the answer to what your chances of any sailing, whether we're talking about April, May, December, nobody knows. It's just a guessing game at this point. Mike Pastor is here. Good morning, Mike. Glad to have you over here. Um, there are a lot of good questions here. I'm trying to answer as many as I can about uh, the future cruise credits here because that's what we're talking about. Our topic for today is Royal Caribbean future cruise credits. So if you have a question about that, please feel free to type it in chat. Uh, Bob Hicks, good morning. The recent cruise cancellation allows for 125% for cruise planner purchases. The prior cruise cancellation did not. Will they retroactively do that? No, I don't think so. Plus, it's already we're kind of past that point at this point, Bob. But I don't believe so. I've seen no indication uh, as such. Uh, Marshall, is this a Royal Caribbean sanctioned discussion? No, I don't work for Royal Caribbean. I just talk about it. Um, I cover Royal Caribbean, but this is not a we're not affiliated with Royal Caribbean at all. Um, Robert says Royal Caribbean told me yesterday that if we book our next cruise before May thirty first, we can use our credit towards the down payment. Have you heard this? No, that's not true at all, Robert. Everything that we've said. We've seen, read, and heard from Royal Caribbean is not the case. I think what maybe you're referring to is a new program that we, re that we reported on at royalcaribbeanblog.com where if you're saying, hey, Royal Caribbean, I want to use this future cruise credit that I'm still waiting for to book another cruise, they will let you put a hold down with no money down, no deposit, just a hold through May 31st. Then at that point, by, by May 31st, Robert, you should have your future cruise credit. And at that point, you can put your deposit down and then apply your future cruise credit there. Basically, the idea is that it gives you a little more flexibility in waiting for that future cruise credit. So you're not outlying a lot more money in the, in the interim. Um, Eden, is there any way they will extend the future cruise credit until 2022? No idea. Um, Eden, I wouldn't be able to comment on that. I just don't know. Nobody knows. Right now, it's through December 31st, 2021. Could it be? Possibly, but we just don't. The answer to your question, Eden, is I don't know. Paul, if I get a future cruise credit for three people at 125, can I use that amount for three people and add a fourth person? Yes, Paul. Assuming, Paul, that the three people we're talking about that got the credit are the same three people going on the next sailing? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, however, let me back that up here for a moment. Because don't forget, Paul, I think I know what you're asking. Let's say if, if there's leftover credit, I'm going to amend my answer. If the three people who got 125 and there's leftover for each single person, you cannot pull the leftover and apply it to person number four. The leftover is still in the name of person one, two, and three. Does that make sense? So you can add a fourth person, absolutely, but you're paying for that fourth person. You cannot use your leftover credit or anybody else's leftover credit to pay for person number four. Does that make sense? Tony Diaz with the crystal ball. I know I really need to get a crystal ball here, guys. So I can be like, I can peek into it and be like, I don't see anything. <laughs> this is just a this is just a ball of glass. 
Uh, Elizabeth Taylor, back from the dead. Uh, final payment for Oasis, April 11th or July 11th cruise. Where do you stand on paying for it or not? July is not that far away. I mean, Liz, that's a good question. You know, if you're asking me, Matt, should I make final payment and go for it? I mean, ultimately, that's your decision. I personally would. I mean, I have cruises in July. I'm going to go on those cruises. I've made final payment for those. But, you know, granted, I'm, I'm a bit eccentric, right? I mean, I love Royal Caribbean. I'm going to go on those cruises. Um, but it, that's a very personal decision, Liz. And I'm not sure I can answer that for you. I can only tell you what I would do in that situation. But again, Liz, don't just take what I'm saying as an indication what, what everybody should do. Um, Sarah says, I'm supposed to go on May 29th. Sure hope we still get to go. Reserved one of those nice floating cabanas of Coco Key. Nice. Those look amazing. Um, let's see here. Greetings, Jonesy. Welcome. Erica, glad to have you here. Um, Eric, what's happening with Odyssey of the Seas? From all we can tell, it's still on schedule to debut later this year. In fact, Royal Caribbean's, uh, Royal Caribbean Cruises Limited Chairman and CEO Richard Fain commented yesterday and didn't mention the Odyssey of the Sea. So, as far as we can tell, it's still uh, it's still going there. Uh, Ralph, any chance Royal Caribbean changes Caribbean ports and reschedules ports to Lobby and Coca-Cola to restart the cruise schedule? I mean, it's everything's anything's possible, Ralph. Um, we don't have any indication that that's necessarily the plan or the or what's going to happen. Um, but obviously, there are some ports that are closed or or temporarily closed anyway. And could there be itinerary changes in our future? Sure, absolutely. I think that's reasonable to expect. But, Ralph, I don't know specifically if that scenario will play out. Uh, we had a question from... Oh, man, I just, my chat just kind of jumped up there. Uh, ah, there we are. Uh, David, we're booked on Explore of the Seas, end of June out of Italy. Do you think this will be canceled? David, I posted an article about that at royalcommandblog.com just less than an hour ago, dude, about will there be 2020 cruises out of, in Europe. The European cruise season, David, in my opinion emphasis on opinion, is in big jeopardy right now because where do most cruise ships go out of? Spain and Italy. That's like their, that's the main areas, especially Italy. Um, and those are the two hardest hit countries with coronavirus. It, things could change. You never know. But um, I think everyone's in a wait and see kind of mentality right now. Um, <laughs> Jonesy's got a joke for us. What kind of sauce appears like magic? Pesto. Oh, God, Josie. <laughs> the dad jokes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, QT Marge. I got my coffee card to refund and a refund on this excursion that used the cruise credit for part of the pay, but now they're saying in the cruise planner that excursions will be part of your credit. Um, I think you're, you're confusing two different things, Q uh, Marge. So you've got your future cruise credit for your cruise fare, right? So that's one area. And in addition... For the cruises that were just canceled um, as part of the extension of the 30 days, you've got um, the option of getting a future cruise or future onboard credit um, for short excursion, uh, short plan. Oh my goodness, cruise planner purchases or a refund. It's up to you. But anything you purchased in the cruise planner, March, you could opt for a refund instead of a um, onboard credit to be used later. Uh, let's see here. Uh, good morning, Cruise for Life. Welcome. Um, Christian Wilhelm, March 21st, Cruise Canceled, rebooked December 18th with the Future Cruise Credit. Nice, dude. That's great. Which ship did you book? Um, Neb, Coastal Kitchen plus Sweet Perks or Normal Room and Unlimited Dining Package? Uh, it really depends on the price, Neb. Um, sweet's wonderful, but it really depends, quite frankly, on what you're looking to do right there. We've got another super chat, a giant super chat. From one of our very, very good friends, Sharon Stockman. Sharon, thank you as always for your kindness. Uh, Sharon writes, do you think Royal Caribbean starts cruising again? That they will allow diabetics to cruise as they stopped allowing them a couple of weeks ago prior to spending all ships? It's a good question, Sharon. Um, I think it is largely going to be based on the proliferation of coronavirus when they resume service. My guess, Sharon, is that rule about pre-existing conditions as well as um, the over 70 and over rule will remain in place for at least a short period of time. Um, I, I really do believe that. I just, unless there is some miracle in which coronavirus is, is, is literally eradicated, I just don't see it um, changing otherwise. I mean, I, I could be wrong, Sharon. I think in the short term, we'll see that. As an ex And I'm basing this off of the fact, previous things. When we saw Ebola 
H1N1, other uh, uh, Zika virus. Even when, like, there was no mention of these viruses anymore in the news, it wasn't on people's conversation anymore, there was still a lag period when you do uh, when you do check-in at the cruise terminal, they would still ask you questions related to those things, right? Whether or not that's just a lag factor or or just being prudent, that's up for, de for debate. But I do believe that, yes, at least in the short term, that will still be the case. I could be wrong, but I, I still feel like that's going to be uh, the case right there. Uh, MJ, so on my on my one cruise, and welcome MJ. So on my one cruise that was non-refundable. I have to wait for Royal Caribbean to cancel to get everything back and get a future cruise cancel, hoping everything will be good by October. Yes. So in your situation, MJ, you have non-refundable cruise here. You could cancel, but you'll be subject to the cancellation fee. Now, MJ, this is really a question of, I, I think, you know, number one, how much, how badly do you want the money back now? Number two, do you still want to go on this cruise? And number three, are you willing to roll the dice that it will be canceled or be offered future cruise credit? Um, because if you get past final payment date and that cruise goes forward and you, you're you having second thoughts about that, that's a different situation there. But, you know, this is really a question of, well, cancel right now. Let's say it's four people in your room. That's $400, right, in those change fees because you book non-refundable. Is that worth it to you? For some people, just to get that money back and be done with it, that may the answer may be yes, MJ. Um, but again, that kind of depends on your situation there. October's a really far time long away from now. I kind of feel like, and again, I don't know any more than you guys do, but I do feel like when we're talking about cruises in the second half of 2020, there's a really good chance that things are going to improve by then. I mean, look, I, I think that that stands to reason based on a lot of anecdotal evidence that's out there. I could be wrong. For all I know, it'll get much worse. But as it stands right now, I personally wouldn't um, change anything. But again, as you know, MJ, it's a person. I just I want to make it very clear when I'm trying to give opinions here that I'm not telling you what you should or shouldn't do because I obviously don't want to be responsible for you know things that go the way you like it to go. I'm just offering my my opinions. Um, HIWF Wrestling with the future cruise credit policy. You think it makes travel insurance less worth it for sailings before the end of July? No, I think travel insurance still plays a lot, a big role. Now, keep in mind, this is a really good point. Most travel insurance plans do not cover pandemics in general. It's just, it, if you look at your policy, it almost always does not include it. Um, I know some, some providers have waived that and do include it now, but a lot of those were for travel insurance policies purchased before all of this. So I want to make it clear that if you buy travel insurance, it's always it's still a solid investment. It still covers a lot of other scenarios that are outside of of the coronavirus that could still be very very um, impactful to you if you were to incur them. I mean, you slip and fall. Um, you know, you, your your car breaks down. Your your uh, you get you know things happen. You lose your job. Um, these are things in which travel insurance do kick in and protect you for. So again, that's kind of situ it, so. Yes, there is still absolutely value towards it. But I also want to make it very clear that pandemic, if you buy it right now, I'm not sure it'll actually cover a coronavirus-specific situation. But again, check with your policy on that one. Uh, jury's got a question for us. We use a casino certificate to get a $500 discount on a Rome cruise in August through next cruise. If that cruise gets canceled, will we lose the $500 or will they get transferred? I would imagine you lose it. I mean, that's free money. You know what I mean? And and the other part of it, before you get upset about that, is I like. I mean, the casino is probably going to offer you another one down the line. Let's face it: when things resume, the the cruise business is going to be hurting. They're going to want bookings back, so I could definitely see that still uh, occurring. But yeah, I believe the casino credits. I'm not a thousand percent sure on this, so again, you might want to check with Casino Royale. But I think once you apply them, that's it. You're kind of out of the out of the woods on that one. Uh, Eric, what's going on with Odyssey of the Seas? As far as we know, still on target. Still on target. Uh, Martha, our mail month got canceled. When do you think we can start to reschedule with the 125% future cruise credit? Um, I believe it's going to be 30. There's a date. Um, you're on the mail, May 11th, so you're on the new one, right? That got there. Uh, let me get you the date on that, Martha. Because Royal Caribbean said that... I'm pulling up my blog post here at royalcaribbeanblog.com. Um, I believe it's going to be 30 days... Um, they'll be automatically issued on April 30th, 2020. So, Martha, uh, April 30th. Uh, Dijon, do you think they will give more than 125% or other incentives compared to other cruise lines? No, I think what we're seeing is basically what we're seeing. Uh, Barry Gordon, I have a Royal Caribbean cruise planned for May 21st, and I have a Royal Caribbean cruise May 4th 
for, uh, for May 21st and one book for November on Celebrity Edge. If May's canceled, can I transfer some money to November Cruise? Oh, between Royal Caribbean and Celebrity? I don't think you can do that. I could be wrong, but I don't think you can do that. Uh, Janet Davis with a super chat. Janet, thank you so much for your super chat. That's so, so kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And she wrote just simply, thank you, with a nice little sticker there, which I know my good friend um, Sherry from Cruise Tips TV loves those stickers. Uh, Teresa wants to know what travel insurance company do I use? I use um, Allianz Travel. Again, I don't recommend you just book whatever map books. I don't think that's it. Find a policy that works for you over there. Uh, we have back-to-back, belly-to-belly super chats out there. Number one, from my very good friend, Tony Diaz's wife, who has just woke up, still in bed watching you. The wife walks in and says, really? You're waking up to him now. There are worse people to wake up to than this guy. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Tony's wife. And thank you for joining us. And thank you for the super chat. And Mick Dianer. Uh, with the super chat as well. Thank you for answering my question, Mike Danner. Thank you for your generosity. Really do appreciate that. Um, Janet, we're supposed to sail on the June fifth sailing with you. I'm so sorry. We'll both uh, have the opportunity to meet. I know. I, I, I'm bummed about that. That one really hurts, you know. Uh, Jordan Hollingsworth, first time making for a live stream. Welcome, Jordan. I was curious if you believe that after all of this is over, if cruisers might expect more expensive or cheaper. Jordan, I posted a blog post at royalcreamblog.com this week about that exact question. Will there be discounts after this is all said and done? And I quoted three or four different Wall Street analysts. And every single one of those analysts believes there will be deep, significant discounts after. Now, they could all be wrong. We don't know. But the premise is pretty much the same, Jordan, in that... They're all, and this you can read the quotes at royalcreamblog.com. But the premise is the industry is hurting, and it's gonna hurt, and they're gonna be down, and they're gonna struggle to fill rooms is in the short term. When I say the short term, 2020 especially, um, because there's gonna be a lot of hesitation for a lot of people to get out there. So as a result, the cruise lines are going to have to resort to um, significant discounts to get people to come back. Because at the end of the day. It's pretty hard to overlook a, a big discount. But wow, okay, it's that cheap? Yeah, I'm going to book it. Again, Jordan, check out our blog post at royalcreamblog.com. Uh, JC, Oasis canceled for May and moved to Oasis September. I'm happy with the deal I got. MEI is awesome. John's aim, John Ames is awesome. JC, thank you for supporting our sponsor, MEI Travel. They do such a great job. Uh, Dark Extra, just got your cruise canceled, but 125% future cruise credit. Isn't that a great feeling right there? Uh, let's see here. Uh, Matt Trzinski. Uh, we had a cruise planned for May 24th for our 20th year, 20 year anniversary. Congratulations. And we're thinking of moving to August 16th. What is your opinion on this? Still holding out to see if they cancel ours. I would tell you, well, it, uh, number one, Matt, your cruise is canceled. You know that, right? The May 24th sailing. Uh, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. Getting my dates confused my mind. Yes, your cruise is not canceled yet. Um, I would tell you, it. I, I would say that the August, if you're thinking about August, you have a much better chance at that one going. Um, I would probably say, yeah, that's a good idea. I would say push it off. Uh, probably makes a lot of sense right there. Um, Conference King, any updates on the application of Alert? It's paused. It will happen. It's just there is no new date for when it's going to occur. As soon as I do know, I'll post about it, but... Yeah, basically, Explorer and Allure are both just their 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 amplifications are on all amplifications for that matter are on hold right now. Uh, Jay, I booked two cruises with the cruise protection on both. One was for March, the other one for December. I'd like to rebook before my December. Should I wait to use my credit or transfer my credit to the second one? Um, I would like to rebook before. Oh, I see what you're saying, Jay. Um, is your question like the credit for March? You want to use that towards December? I mean, in my opinion, you rebook, keep the December cruise, take that credit from March, rebook another cruise, keep that two cruise thing going, you know? Uh, Miranda, what is the super chat? Miranda, it's basically a tip jar. Um, it's that right below the chat where you can type in, there's a dollar sign, you click on that, you can donate a certain amount of money. It's not required, it's just a, a way to show your appreciation. It's a tip jar, you know what I mean? Um, that's the best way I can describe it. Neb, we're originally in two rooms, took Future Cruise Credit. Can we rebook for the same four people, but in a nicer single room? Yes, you can, Neb. Remember, the Future Cruise Credit is not tied to rooms, it's tied to people, Neb. 
So you have four people. They're each going to have a future cruise credit with their name on it. And yeah, whether they're in different four different rooms or all in one room, absolutely, you can use all those uh, towards each other. Uh, trains all day. My cruise got canceled on May 2nd, and I don't think that it is fair. If I want to risk it, I should be able to go on my cruise. Brother, let me tell you this. If Royal Caribbean went ahead with their cruises right now, they would be slaughtered by the media. I mean, anybody, any company that operates right now, that thinks about opening up right now, is being, it's just, whether or not you think you want to take the risk, whether or not, there, there's a variety of reasons. I understand your sentiment, but I can tell you at the, the at the very least, I think if they try to go ahead with cruises right now, number one, cru, almost every cruise port is closed. I don't know where you're going to go. Because there's very few cruise ports that are actually open right now, okay? Number two, I think the media would slaughter. I would love to go on a cruise as well, but I'm telling you, man, they would be they would be they would be roasted alive um, for trying to operate in this current situation. Right now, the lockdown is what it is. Um, but I understand exactly where you're coming from. MJ with the super chat. MJ, thank you so much for your generosity. MJ writes, gonna keep the cruise in October and hope it happens. Really want to go. Uh, glad to be an insider and support your blog, MJ. Thank you for your support. MJ became a Royal Caribbean Blog Insider this week. It wasn't yesterday, but it was this week. And MJ joined at the very top level. I was shocked by that, MJ. Very happy to see that. And, of course, if you want to become an insider as well, you can become one uh, by going to this URL right over here, royalcaribbeanblog.com slash support. Um, this is basically a monthly donation you can make to help support what we do here at royalcaribbeanblog.com. So, MJ, thank you for your support. Really appreciate that. Uh, Kemoy. Hey, bro. Will when will the ships be active? The hey, bro. The next time the ship should return to service right now is going to be in uh, mid-May, May twelfth, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, willing vessel. Do you think Symphony of the Seas will sail on May twenty third? I hope so, but honestly, I can't promise you anything like that. I can only tell you that things seem to change every day, and I feel like. We're kind of every day. Some our, our scenario changes. I certainly hope we start seeing a uh, an improvement and a more confidence that all of our cruises that we have coming up are going to actually happen. Um, <laughs> Tony says it's a tip jar without him singing. Thank God. <laughs> Bryce writes we have our we had a cruise canceled for this weekend. Now we rebook for June sixth. Do you think it's safe or should we rebook for later? I mean, Bryce, there's very little risk to you in in it right now. I mean, look at it this way: if the cruise is canceled. Well, you're going to get your money back again, and you can rebook it for another cruise. So, I say go for it, you know? I mean, let it ride, um, and you're either going to go on the sailing, or it's going to be canceled again, you'll be pushed back again. Um, but, I would say that there's a lot of forces right now that are moving towards keeping, obviously, the cruise, the cruise lines have to resume service at some point. And they're going to try to do it as early as they can, and I think that, again, if you're cool with going on the cruise, I think there's very little risk to you, because obviously, we, as we see, if Royal elects to cancel a cruise... They've been very generous with, with what they're offering for that. So, uh, Bria, does the 125% future cruise credit include taxes, fees, etc. that we originally paid? It does not, Bria, because those port fees, taxes, gratuities, that gets refunded to you um, on your own. So, Bria, when, you, when your cruise is canceled and you get a future cruise credit, you get the future cruise credit for the cruise fare itself. The port fees, taxes, gratuities... Um, any add-ons you bought will automatically be refunded back to you directly. So you're not losing it. It's just not part of your future cruise credit. That's all. Uh, let's see here. Amanda McQueen on uh, our Adventure of the Seas ABC Cruise was canceled. And we'll take a 125% future cruise credit. But when looking to book next year, cabins were sold out, balcony or close, or way over what we originally paid. It's interesting, Amanda. Um, I would tell you, just wait it out a little bit more. I think when things resume... I can't promise you, Amanda, that, you know, what's going to happen price-wise with anything, but I can tell you that I think a lot of things are going to, there's going to be a lot of dominoes to fall later on, and prices could change, maybe they won't, um, but if you're not liking the price, you might sit on that cruise for a little bit, just wait a little longer, see what happens, you know, especially, Amanda, once cruising resumes, and see what the, the nature of the market is, see what the nature of pricing is, we may see changes, we may not, I don't know, but at this point... You know, you, you can make the argument um, of that. The other thing you could do is put a deposit down. You can always put a refundable deposit down and then always change your mind later on if it doesn't come down. That's probably the most sensible thing to do. Uh, Aaron Krill, waiting on a future cruise credit for a trip, including three minor children. For, if we rebook with kids sell free, 
could we get multiple cruises? Um, possibly, but Aaron, don't forget, when you get a future cruise credit, it'll be refunded. Your credit is in the is in each person's name. So let's say, Aaron, you paid a thousand dollars um for three minor kids, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave your for easy math, because it's still early over here. I'm gonna assume three kids and you. That's four people. So a basic breakdown might be okay, two fifty for Aaron, two fifty for one kid. 250 for another kid, and 250 for kid number three. So you go to book that next cruise with kids sale free. Well, you pay for your cruise fare. That's your 250. But the 250 for the kids isn't applicable because their cruise fare is not, they don't owe anything. Does that make sense? Now, granted, you can still use their cruise fare towards another cruise in which there is no kids sale free. But I believe in your scenario, you wouldn't be able to apply your kids future cruise credits because there there is no line item for them to apply towards. They're quote unquote free. Probably not the answer you're looking for. Uh Lavernick, thank you for the super chat. And uh Neb, thank you for the super chat. Guys, thank you so much for your generosity. Big shout out to Neb and Lavernick, both saying, hey you. Uh, and these are really good questions, guys. So I really appreciate you it's your patience and me trying to answer as many as we can here about future cruise credit. Uh Amanda Oh, Amanda, you're following up on the adventure one there. Would my future cruise credit be issued back to me and pay $500, or is that a loss? Uh... Yeah, so, Amanda, the $500 deposit, if if you, for your original cruise, the adventure cruise, the deposit is included in the future cruise credit. You don't lose out on that money. But to book another cruise, you will need to lay out cash for the deposit. Does that make sense? Rochelle, I live in Central Florida and only a couple hours from all the ports. Do you think I'll be able to get some last-minute deals on sailings? Rochelle, um, I think it's quite possible that, that could occur. I don't know why you just deleted your message there. I thought it was a good message, Rochelle. But I think it could absolutely happen. It's reasonable. Um, even before the current, before they shut down, there were some great last-minute deals on some sailings out there, especially shorter ones. So, um, Dawn, thank you for being a Royal Cream Blog Insider. Appreciate that, Dawn. Uh, let's see here. Willie Vessel, do you think Royal Criminal will cancel my May 23rd selling at Symphony? I have no idea. I'm sorry, dude. I wish I could give you an answer. Um, Earl Zeitbart, I had two cruises canceled on the same day. Royal Caribbean gave us over $1,700 above what we paid for the cruise for future cruises. They really stepped up loyal to Royal. That's awesome, dude. Um, Oscar is here. In terms of the future cruise credit, can it be used to pay the deposit or do I need to pay the deposit before I can use the credit? You need to pay the deposit first. If you have leftover future cruise credit, you could then... Get your money back from the deposit. Again, your travel agent can help you with that one. But to make the initial deposit, yes, you need to pay cash. Um, Cindy, I'm still holding out hope there'll be an Alaska cruise season, but it's not looking good. I really hope it works for you. I mean, my Alaska cruise was canceled this year, but I really hope folks like yourselves can still make it work. Uh, Chris, is Royal Caribbean extending payoff dates? No, currently not. It's still the same policy it's been before. Uh, Cheese Danish Funhouse. What a great name. Don't know if this was covered already, but do you think, how do you think they will handle the rooms that were booked on Explorer that won't be available because of the postponed amplification? My guess would be if you booked a room that doesn't exist anymore because it was it doesn't exist before and it was supposed to be added, but obviously it's not going to be added so it doesn't exist, you're probably going to get canceled on. I would imagine. Or, or move you up. If possible, the number one thing would be they'd be going to try to move you around to another room, Right? Maybe a complimentary upgrade? That'd be my first guess. They're going to try to get you on that sailing. Um, then the refund would be the last course of action. Uh, let's see here. Jay Hodgers, do you still get points if you keep your 125% credit in the Crown and Anchor Rewards program? You only get um, Crown and Anchor points for cruises you sail on. So if your cruise was canceled, you don't get the cruise points for that one, right? You book another cruise, yeah, you still get... If your question is use your future cruise credit towards another sailing and you don't pay a dime for that one. Yeah, you still get the points for that because you actually sailed on there. Uh, Michelle, what can you use the future cruise credit on? Your cruise fare. You can use it towards the a cruise fare price. It doesn't, except for, does not include deposit, port fees, taxes, gratuities, or shore excursions or any of those add-ons. So, Charnel, Good morning. Uh, Labernick, I booked a, I have a cruise booked for late October. Do you think I should cancel or wait? I think you should wait. I don't think there's any reason for you to cancel right now. Hello, Sophie. Welcome. Neb, if you use future cruise credit and you still do the price adjustment until final payment date, um, yeah, of course. I don't see why not. Uh, Josie, it's 11 a.m. in Florida. Listen, my coffee cup still has a little bit of 
it, it hasn't it hasn't hardened yet, so that's how I know it's still early. Uh, Carmen, do you think Royal Caribbean would honor the prices you paid for some of the extras you booked on the cruise that got canceled? Uh, no. Like, you mean like drink packages, things like that? No, they will not. They've said that already. Um, Raj, if you book Future Cruise credit over the refund and the next cruise cancels, will you still be able to get a refund instead of another Future... Ooh, that's a good question, Raj. I don't know. So Raj is saying, cruise number one, you have the choice. It's canceled, takes the Future Cruise credit. Cruise number two, canceled again. Can you say, okay, you know what? JKL out on my refund. I don't know. I would assume... I can't even tell you, Raj. I, I, the answer is I don't know. Nobody knows the answer to that. It hasn't happened yet. Um, I would hope they would allow you to do that, but I really don't know the answer, Raj, and I don't want to mislead you. Um, Jordan, just read the article you posted. Very informative. I'm hopeful for some great discounts. You're very welcome, Jordan. And I, and I, and I appreciate you taking a chance to read that because I do think that answers that question you were asking earlier about discounts. And Look, Wall Street analysts are just are, they're making educated guesses as well. But they all say the same thing, which usually me if there's a consensus like that, it kind of tells me that there's something there. You know what I mean? Um, let's see here. Earl, uh, October 20th cruise to Cozumel. Are their ports closed? If so, will they be open? I believe Mexico's cruise ports are closed right now. But again, October's a really long time away. Um, and a lot can change before then. I would be pretty surprised in October if they're, if they're still closed, quite frankly. But again, could be wrong, Earl. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Um, Teresa, I'm cruising Ovation of the Seas in September to Hawaii. If the price goes down, can I call Royal Caribbean and get a lower price? If you're before final payment date, yes, you can. But you have to be before final payment date. Uh, Ken, my cruise was canceled March 12th. When do you think I'll get a refund on my credit card on the cruise planner? I believe the, um, you were in the, f no, you were, you were in the next group. You were in the March... No, you were in the first one. Um, you're going to get your refund. Hold on a second. I believe you're getting your refund in April. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's early April. They're supposed to be processing those. I want to say like April, first couple weeks. I forget the exact date, dude. But I'm pretty sure the first set are supposed to be scheduled for early April. Uh, Elena, if I don't use, if I didn't use a travel agent initially when using a future cruise credit, can I use a travel agent? Yes, you can. Yes. The future cruise credit is in your name, not your travel agent. So absolutely. And that's exactly what you should be doing, Elena. Um, Angela, Monique, uh, I, I think I'm hearing, I think what I'm hearing is, oh, I missed it. Uh, I think what I'm hearing is just to wait out when rebooking my next cruise, with my cruise credit. Hopefully I'll benefit from a good fare to be applied to it. I think it's pretty much a, a good bet right there. Uh, KMMK, new fan, will they, thank you, welcome. Will they offer future cruise credit even if you book knowing that the cruise might be canceled because of COVID-19? Most cruise, most major insurance companies aren't giving you benefits for future trips yet. Yeah, I mean, if you book a cruise, KM, if this is what you're asking, if you book a cruise for, um, May, and it get, no, today, and we all know that could be potentially impacted, yes, you still get it, absolutely. Uh, Lori wants to know, do you get your deposit back independently from the future cruise credit no i know it's kind of weird so you get a future cruise credit it includes your deposit and your cruise fare but when you go to book a new cruise you need to pay your deposit individually but you still the, the deposit and the, you paid for cruise number one that was canceled is part of that future cruise credit does that make sense uh dave kazarian can i apply future cruise credit towards two cruises i already have booked yes absolutely um, Charnel, there was a notification that's saying Royal Caribbean is extending their suspension, their sailings. Do you know for how long? Yes. Um, it's through, uh, where's the, it's through May 11th. They're going to resume service May 12th. That's the new date right there again. And, uh, Charnel, we have the details for you at royalcaribbeanblog.com. Uh, let's see here. Chris Lindsay, email I got, they offer 100% refund on upgrades or 125% onboard credit. Um, that's correct, sir. That's for the, like, shore excursions, drink packages, spa, anything you book through the cruise planner before the cruise, that's what that's referring to. Uh, Raj says, another question. What would you consider a safe time to book a new cruise? We're considering the end of September. Raj, it would be irresponsible of me to tell you any, a specific, like, well, Raj, if you book a cruise at this point in the year, you're safe. Nobody knows the answer to that question, Raj. And I would be, I do not want to mislead you because I don't believe there is a 100% assurance in anything. 
Um, do I think there's a much better chance of it occurring in the second half as you move down 2020? Absolutely. But there is no guarantee safe date, Raj. You know what I mean? This isn't like hurricane season where I can tell you, Raj, if you don't want to go on a hurricane, book your cruise after November 30th. You're totally safe. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see here. Good morning, Leslie. Welcome. Um, Edwin Vargas, if our seven-day cruise turned into a nine-day cruise due to docking issues, will we get Crown Anchor points? Yes, you'll get the extra points. Uh, Martha, so Matt, you are saying that when rebooking, I have to pay a deposit that I already paid for the canceled cruise before the future cruise credit gets supplied. That is correct. That is correct. Um, Cooper Alexander, we have a Thanksgiving cruise on Adventure of the Season, November 2020. You think we should still plan to go on it or think we'll cancel the cruise? I think you should still go on it. November is a really, really long time away. Don't know what the future may hold. I would still say go for it. Um, trains all day. If my cruise was can't booked on May 2nd, when would I get my refund? For what? what's your sale date, trains? I'm not sure I understand. You said when you booked it, not when your sailing is. Um, m and have I booked any more cruises this year or are you waiting it out? I have, I have not booked any more cruises since this whole stuff occurred um, back in a couple weeks ago. Um, I will book more cruises. But my theory is at this point, I'm just going to wait for them to resume. Once they resume service, I'm going into full booking mode again because I've got a lot of money to burn. <laughs> I got money burning a hole in my pocket. But I'm just wait To me, it seems it seems like a waste of my time and my travel agent's time to book cruises if I don't know definitively um, what the plan is. So as of right now, I have not booked anything else. I'm just waiting. But as soon as it happens, dude, this is going to be me. Book it. YOLO book it. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Um, Ashley wants to know, I'm supposed to go on the Bahamas in June. I'm in limbo on canceling or not. Are they saying how far out they're canceling right now? Yes, right now they're canceling through May 11th. Beyond that, Ashley, they're planning on resuming service May 12th. Uh, Amalia, how about what about a name change? Oh, you're getting married? I think that's okay, Amalia. That's totally fine. Like You could probably prove that you were person A and now you're person B. That's different than, like again your kids or something like that. Uh, Todd Cohen, sorry if this has already been asked. Don't apologize, dude. We're here to help. That's the bottom line. And I appreciate you being here, Todd. Um, if I choose the future cruise credit option, then later decide to turn it into a refund, number one, is that possible? And number two, do you get the extra 25% cash in cash back as well? Number one, yes. Royal Caribbean is allowing you guys, if you take the 125% future cruise credit, and then let's fast forward six months from now, and you're like, you know what? I want refund. You can get the refund. You have until December... I believe until December 31st, 2020, or sorry, December 31st, 2021 to change that back to a refund if you so choose. And number two, do you get in the extra, no, you do not get the 25% cash back. No, no. So um, Todd, if you decide later on you want the refund, it goes back to 100%. Uh, Victor, are all amplifications suspended? Yes. Right now, they're all on hold. All Royal Caribbean is trying to cut down on costs and, number one, the, and that includes capital expenditures, which is the Royal Amplified Program. They're going to happen but there's no updated schedule for that one. Hello, Baby Jugs. Welcome. Glad to see you here. Bob says, hey, Matt, you were saying the credit is per person. My cruise is an incentive trip paid for my company. So does the future cruise credit still go to me and not the company? If you get the future cruise credit, I think so. The refund will go back to your company, but the cruise credit, I think, goes to you because, again, it gets issued in the name. That'd be my expectation, Bob, based on everything I've read. Could be wrong, but that's my expectation right there. Um, Isham wants to know, sorry if you answered this already, but is Royal Caribbean will give back their non-refundable deposit when they cancel the cruise? Yes. If they cancel on you, yes, you can get the non-refundable deposit back. Um, let's see here. KM, you are very welcome. Uh, we moved our March 28th adventure of the season next March on Odyssey. Thanks to Royal Caribbean for the 125% to check out a bigger, newer ship. Nice. Um, I'm booked on Odyssey as well for spring break next year. So here's hoping we're going to make it on that one as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, MCK Ryan says, money burning a hole in your pocket or future cruise credit burning a, f a hole in your pocket? Little column A, little column B. <laughs> good to see you here. Hope everything is well there in uh, good old uh, Coweta County. YOLO, Tony. Exactly. Uh, trains all day. Sorry, my sale date was May 2nd. Got it. Uh, when will you get your refund? You will get your refund, I believe. Hang on a second. Um, future cruise credits will be automatically issued on April 30th, 2020. Um, I would imagine refunds are going to be processed in a similar manner. Uh, I don't know if it'll be exactly on that date, 
But that's when they're processing a lot of these things there. Um, so trains all day. I hope that kind of offers some advice right there. Um, Bird guy seven. If I book a deposit for three people, do I get penalized if I add a fourth person later? Um, you don't get penalized from the cent. The price could change when you add somebody or take somebody away from reservation, especially at any point, but especially after final payment date, there could be an additional. The, the cost could change, but it's not necessarily a penalty. It's more just the cost could change to the cruise. But it won't impact the first three people. If that may, you're not going to get like a change fee for the first three people. That's what you're asking. It's you're keeping the sailing. You're just adding a fourth person. The ramification is you could run into a situation where again they reprice the room and the price goes up. Um, but change fee, no. If I'm understanding your situation correctly, uh, Victoria, do you do you have any idea?